hello viewers assalamu alaikum uh, welcome to my youtube channel ishbaq sabun with uh, today we are going to discuss uh, fundamental rights in indian constitution uh, right to freedom article 19 to 22 uh, be with me till the end of the lecture uh, uh, the indian constitution guarantees uh, six fundamental rights to all citizens uh, which promotes the idea of political democracy in the country so we'll discuss the right to freedom article 19 to 22 uh, it is lecture 7th for class 11th students uh, subject political science uh, book 1 constitution in india uh, let's get started article 19 one of the constitution India guarantees six fundamental freedoms to every citizen of India. Uh, though all of these six fundamental freedoms are not absolute, uh, they contain certain restraints and exceptions within them, which are postulated in Article 19.2 and Article 19.6. Right to freedom of speech and expression, Article 19.1a. Uh, Article 19.1a guarantees the citizens the right to freedom of speech and expression. This implies that all citizens have the right to express their views and opinions uh, freely. A freedom to assemble peacefully, Article 19.1b. Article 19.1b ensures uh, the right to assemble peacefully and hold public meetings or processions uh, without arms. This right allows uh, citizens to come together for various purposes such as protests, demonstrations or discussions. Further, a right to form associations and unions under Article 19.1c. Uh, Article 19.1c of the Indian Constitution guarantees to all its citizens the right to form associations and unions uh, or cooperative societies. Under Clause 4 of Article 19, uh, the state may by law impose reasonable restrictions on this right in the interest of public order or morality or the sovereignty and integrity of India. Uh, freedom to move freely within the territory of India under Article 19.1d. Uh, Article 19.1d ensures the right to move freely throughout the territory of India. Uh, citizens have the liberty to move within the country reside in any part of India and settle in any place of their choice in India. A right to reside and settle in any part of the territory of India, Article 19.1e. Article 19.1e guarantees every citizen of India the right to reside and settle uh, in any part of the territory of India. However, under Clause 5 of Article 19, reasonable restrictions may be imposed on this right by law in the interest of the general public. Further, uh, freedom to citizens to acquire, hold and dispose of the property within the territory of India. Uh, under Article 19.1f, it provides the freedom to citizens to acquire, hold and dispose of the property within the territory of India. But by the Constitutional 44th Amendment Act 1978, these two above mentioned articles were deleted and a new chapter 4th uh, was added in part 12th uh, containing only one article that is Article 300A. Uh, by which this article this right has been legalized now this is legal right right to property uh, 
right to practice any profession under Article 191G of the Constitution of India. It provides right to practice any profession, profession or to carry on any occupation, trade or business with all citizens, uh, state subjects to Article 19.6 which enumerates the nature of restriction that can be imposed uh, by the state upon the above right of the citizens. Article 20 of the Constitution, uh, it provides for the protection in respect of conviction uh, for offences. No one can be convicted for an act that was not an offence at the time of its commission and no one can be given punishment greater than what was provided in the law prevalent at the time of its commission. Article 21 Article 21 of the Indian Constitution guarantees the fundamental right to protection of life and personal liberty. No person shall be deprived of his life or personal liberty except according to procedure established by the law. Article 22 Article 22 has two parts. Article 22 uh, grants protection to persons who are arrested or detained. Article 22 has two parts. The first part deals with the cases of ordinary law and the second part deals with it, it has two parts. The first part deals with the cases of ordinary law and the second part deals with the cases of preventive detention law. <clears throat> with this we have concluded <clears throat> today's uh, topic uh, that is fundamental rights, right to freedom, uh, article 19 one to article 22 uh, we'll discuss in next lecture right against exploitation under article 23 and 24 and right to freedom of religion article 25 and 28 in the indian constitution <coughs> So we'll be coming soon, inshallah. If you want to talk with us, WhatsApp number is visible there. Email ID is visible there. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Thank you, Allah Hafiz. We'll meet soon, inshallah.